Welcome to this ANSYS how-to series video for Granta EduPack. In this video, we will be focusing on the tree stage, which allows us to filter records within a database based on their relationship to other records. Filters can be applied from within a dataset or from another linked dataset. For this tutorial, we will use the introductory level one database. Click the chart select function in the main toolbar. In selection stages, we have the options to create a chart, set a limit, or filter using a tree stage. For now, we will focus on the tree feature. By clicking on tree, a pop-up window will appear. At the top of the window, we can edit the title and add notes about the stage. Additional information about this stage and other aspects of the software can be accessed through the online help here and video tutorials here. Next is a drop-down menu, which gives us the choice of data table. By default, the data table is the same as in the selection data section of the selection project panel. The relevant data set tree is visible in the window. For this example, the material universe tree is displayed. We can either select a folder level record or an individual record to use as our filter. For this example, let us filter our materials by thermoplastics. First, expand the polymers and elastomers folder. Then, expand the polymers folder and the thermoplastics folder. We want to include all of these records within our filter. We could add each record individually, or we can filter by the thermoplastics folder level record. When we find the record we want to add, we can double click or press insert. The selected records are displayed below in this box. Remember that all the records within the thermoplastics folder level record are included in this filter. To delete our selections, we highlight the text and press delete. Next, we will investigate how to filter one data set using a record from a linked data table. For this example, we want to filter our material data table to select materials which can be used during injection molding. To do this, change the data table in the drop-down menu to Process Universe. Expand the Shaping folder, go to Molding, and click on Injection Molding. Press Insert, and we can see our selected record shows up in the box. Click OK to apply the tree filter. We can see in the results stage that 27 materials have passed our selection, which means that 27 of our materials can be injection molded. Additional tree, limit, and chart stages can be applied. The results window will show only the records that have passed all previous stages. In this how-to video, we've shown how to use the tree stage to filter records from our data set of interest in Grant to EduPack. Links to tutorials on how to create and format charts, as well as how to use the limit stage to further narrow down material selection projects can be found in the description below. Links to additional resources for Grant to EduPack and other ANSYS products can also be found in the description. Be sure to check out our channel for more ANSYS learning videos, and thank you for watching.